faces hewn from ancient rock, emerging but still embedded, raw but eternally still, sleeping but somehow alive. Emily Young's sculptures have an undeniable power, a presence. Faces carved from red travertine, pitted and pockmarked. From alabaster, snow white and translucent. And more dramatically, from rainbow onyx. And from honey coloured caramel onyx. We visited Emily in her studio in South West England just before her new show opened in London. She was both exhausted and exhilarated, having produced 27 sculptures in just four months or so. At 72, she's having a very fashionable moment. Her clients now include rock stars and film actors and major directors. You don't fit into any category, do you? No. <laughs> No, I don't. Emily Young has sculpted for 40 years or so. For her, this is an intimate, personal conversation, rock by rock. I'm saying, so who are you? What, 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 do you, what would you like to do? And they will, they will let me know um, quite quickly. Um, I, I adjust quite quickly to what they are. I mean, like, like what could I say? I, I, I mean, all of, these, all of these creatures, when you just look at it, it's a rock. I'm having some sort of relationship with this, this rock. When I carve into a piece of stone like this, I'm having a relationship with the universe. This is how I see it. And with it's history? All of history, though. I mean, the, the universe. What's the appeal of lapis lazuli? Well, as Pliny the Elder said, <laughs> above the sky and the stars, below, Lapis lazuli. It is just staggeringly beautiful colour. It's like mind-bogglingly uh, rich. Every sculpture, every face comes with its estimated age, from 50,000 years to two and a half billion. Emily refers to her finished pieces as people, creatures and angels, male and female. They are like messengers. These, all of these are messengers from deep time, telling us how, how our planet was formed and where we come from. They give off something. And people stand in front of some of these, uh, and, you know, and they, they weep and they say, oh, oh, that's so beautiful, or something. Oh, I didn't know I could feel like this, and, and things like that. How do you get, react when people do that? I say, oh, you know, you know, thank you, God, for um, letting me um, touch that person who I have no idea who they are or why they're weeping or wh whatever it is, but I think it's a good thing. This sculpture is called Bear Mountain Flight, carved from a block of volcanic limestone some 200 million years old. She's sort of in flight and again she's sort of blind. It's consciousness, it's sort of the, the experience of being alive. So this is a different scale again? Yeah. And the stone? This is Giallo di Siena, which is yellow from Siena. Did you perceive the face pretty early then? Well, there was, there was enough going on uh, in terms of this stuff going backwards and the shape of the piece that I, I'm, I, I knew there was <laughs> a really big angel in here, just <laughs> happy to come out and play. The sculpture weighs three tonnes and is called The Sun King. Emily's work is a reminder of our origins and her concern about how we continue to ravage our planet. We thought that the Earth is this great beneficent mother and we can take anything we want from her. And in fact, as we now know, um, she is not infinitely generous. Um, she has her limits um, in the state of affairs where we can survive. We have misread our relationship with the Earth really, really badly. 
Ultimately, Emily Young wants her work to make us all feel a little bit better and to give us, however fleetingly, a sense of peace and calm in these troubled, war-torn times. <laughs>